In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can navigate our object using the gizmo as well as resizing it in WAMP. So when we click on our primitive, you will see pop up those three arrows that will help us to move around the axes X, Z and Y. By simply dragging them in one direction, we can move our object in 3D space. While the arrows only allow us to move along one axis, we have those inner buttons that allow us to move more freely around two axes at the same time. In the center of our primitive, there's a point that you can click and hold to to resize our object from the center, keeping its same position. This works the same way with our cube as well as cylinder. But we also have another option to resize our object. If we look at the edges of our cube, there are some buttons facing in specific directions. If we simply drag in that direction, we can also size it more in that direction. And one more way we have to resize our object here is to grab one of the corner points and in that way we can resize it very freely and individually. Now, what you will also see at the corner is three more arrows. Those three arrows are for rotating it along the axes. Simply drag and hold in the direction you want to rotate your object in. A little useful trick that we have here is to hold down shift while rotating to rotate it in a 45 degrees angle. Another way in which we can change our object's position, rotation or size is using the properties menu at the right. Here we have exact numbers that we can make change to. Just type in the number that you want to or additionally hover with your mouse over one of the letters and drag it in one direction to move it more fluidly. And that's it for this tutorial. Congratulations, now you're ready to move in 3D space and create whatever you want to. Have fun womping.